Olivia, can I come in? We need to discuss something important. Olivia's mind raced. If Ethan discovered the twins inside her home, disaster would follow. No. Olivia, you okay? If you're having someone over. No. Of course, come in. Wow. You always had a knack for decorating. Ethan's eyes fix on a pile of brightly colored toys. Olivia's breath catches. <laughs> Didn't know you were into dollhouses. Act natural, act natural. Oh, those? Uh, they're for a charity drive at work. What is so urgent that you had to come to my apartment so late at night? Right. Look, I know this is sudden, but I thought about what you said. There could be a leak at my company. Someone spilling secrets. I can't figure out who. Please don't let him hear them. Please don't let him hear them. I've been trying to think about who at my company would want to leak secrets to my competitors, but I can't think of anyone who would want to see the place crash and burn. Everyone I bring in has been vetted and background checked. Has anyone been annoyed lately? Fired employees? No, thankfully. Just one VP left for a better offer at a competitor. Here, take a look. <clears throat> a competitor, huh? Yeah, but he wouldn't do that. We're old friends. Remember Brett? Brett? Yeah, the one who gave that hilarious speech at our wedding. Right, the best man. This is a nightmare. I need to get him out of here. Yeah, that's him. He's one of my oldest friends. Wouldn't do something like this. But it doesn't hurt to check, right? Just to rule him out. I trust my friend, Olivia. I wish I hadn't trusted you. <clears throat> but a little investigation wouldn't hurt. Besides, if he's innocent, no harm is done. A loud crash echoed down the hallway, followed by a few giggles. Ethan's instincts kicked in with urgency while Olivia prayed Ethan didn't find out about the kids. What's that? Are you having someone over? Stay here. I'll go check. Think, Olivia, think. He can't go in there. No, it's just me. Maybe a stray cat. Or a burglar. Wait, I'll check. <sighs> no, no, no. Ethan, please don't. Why not? It's, it's a mess back there. Boxes everywhere. It's probably one of those boxes that fell. I'll look into Brett and his new job in the office tomorrow, first thing. You sure you don't want me to check? Uh-huh. All right, let's call it a night. I'll look into Brett tomorrow. Thank goodness. Would you mind coming over to my apartment for further investigation? Maybe we can go through these employee files together. Sure. Good night, then. Ethan reluctantly left. As soon as the door closed behind him, Olivia leaned against it, letting out a shaky breath. <sighs> that was too close. Sorry, Miss Smith. I must have dozed off. It's okay, Sally. Thank you for keeping an eye on them. Are they asleep? Yes, ma'am. Good night, my little munchkins. I won't ever let anyone snatch you away. While Olivia was celebrating her little victory, somebody in the town was keeping a tab on her. What was he doing in her apartment? Did she tell him about the twins? I don't know about that, but he was lost in thoughts when he left. Okay, keep an eye on her and report me every single bits. The consideration? You'll get what you've been promised. I can't wait for Mrs. Clark to find out. Hello? Glad you made it. Nice place. Our house was too big for one person. Drink, water, wine. The water's fine. Vintage Merlot goes great with the pasta I'm making. He remembers my favorite food. Get a grip, Olivia. <clears throat> Maybe another time. Tell me about Brett. Nothing suspicious. He left for double the pay. I don't think he's involved. Money can change people, Ethan. You shouldn't be so trusting. Maybe. Taste this, will you? Delicious. Did Brett leave on good terms? Yes, we still play tennis sometimes. He would have tried avoiding me. You know, conscience and all. Some people don't have it, Ethan. They mess up and can still look dead in your eyes. You're right. I still don't understand what went wrong with us. <laughs> you really don't, do you? Excuse me, I need to take this. Hello? Is everything all right? Miss Smith? I am calling from the daycare. I'm sorry, your kids, Emma and Harry, they're missing. What do you mean they are missing? We've checked everywhere, but Harry and Emma are no longer in the daycare. I'm on my way. 
Is everything okay? I need to go. What's going on? You suddenly seem so flustered. I have a personal matter to take care of. Is there something I can do to help you? I'm sorry. I'll contact you to reschedule as soon as I can. Ethan watched as Olivia left the apartment, visibly anxious. In a snap, his walls crumbled and he picked up his phone. Hello. Yes, sir. I want you to follow the lady who has just left. Report me the situation. Out on the streets, Olivia got a cab and connected with the only person that came to her mind. Call Hannah. Calling Hannah. Hi, Liv. What's up? Are Harry and Emma with you? No, I'm in Martha's Vineyard. Wrong. I got a call from their daycare saying Harry and Emma were missing. If something happens to them, I'd never forgive myself. What? Hey, I'm flying right back. Stay calm, okay? Miss Smith, I'm so sorry. When was the last time my children were seen? We put them down for a nap. When we went to wake them up, they were gone. My children have been missing for hours and you're just now calling me? We thought they were hiding. We didn't call the police. Show me where they were sleeping. Caroline led Olivia to the unmade cots. Olivia saw a purple stain on the pillow. What spilled on this pillow? Grape juice. Harry tried to sneak a snack. Where are the snacks? Caroline pointed to a door. Olivia found the pantry and noticed the unlocked door. Where does this door lead? The alley for deliveries. Yes, what's the update? Is she safe? Uh, yes, sir. Ma'am hailed a cab after walking out of the building. We tried following her, but lost her in the traffic. I called to get permission to track her cell phone. While Ethan contemplated his decision, Olivia discovered a potential lead. Isn't this supposed to be secure? It was this morning. We don't know. Aren't you done with the excuses? You've got more problems to worry about, including an approaching lawsuit. Suddenly, Olivia spotted a convenience store across the street. Hello, how can I help you? Did you see two little kids about four? A boy and a girl come in here alone? No kids that young come in alone, I'm sorry. Is the shop under surveillance? Can I see the footage? Ugh, it'll take forever at this pace. Hey Liv, did you find them? Nope, I'm checking the footage of the nearby vicinity. I w- What the hell? Blood drained out of Olivia's face when she saw the familiar black town car speed through the frame. She zooms in and gasped. Meanwhile, across the town, Harry and Emma were in trouble. <laughs> mama! Uh, uh, uh. You don't know who our mama is. When she finds us, you'll regret it. <laughs> who has abducted Emma and Harry? Who is in the mysterious black town car caught on surveillance footage? Will Olivia lead herself to danger? Hi, Olivia here. Please click on the link in description to listen to the full audio series. You can watch the next episode here in the playlist.